ever thought. On the first day of our conference, after my first opening message, we accidentally ended up baptizing 30 people. We came a long way. That's what the song said. And I could do all things. I could do all things. Yeah, I could do all things. Yeah. You know, with this conference, we went to a lot of different venues, a lot of different hotels, the Marriott Marquis, which is where we hosted it in downtown Atlanta. We went to the Hyatt, we went to the Hilton, we went to a lot of different hotels to find the best venue, man. And we settled on the Marriott Marquis. People flew in from all over the country and even internationally, London, Jamaica, all over the US, like, just to see all the people in line waiting to come in, the excitement, the energy. Man, this conference was absolutely amazing. So, you know, our opening message, I'm filled with emotions. You know, I take the stage there with my wife, Tracy, and our two kids, Jackson, Jewel, and, you know, I just really cherish this moment, you know what I'm saying, and really just, you know what I'm saying, got to showcase them to the conference, you know, and to all the attendees there. And it was important for me to let them know, like, hey, they, my family is the center of my life. And then when my family left the stage, it's just like, there was like a stillness over the room and everyone, was in anticipation of the message that I was gonna share, and it was heavy on my heart. And the message that God gave me is to release to receive. You have to release to receive. And so I really broke down my whole story. Because a lot of these people that came to the conference, they've been following me for a few years, maybe saw me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. They don't really know my full story, so they're just, they idolize, like, oh, Jim, is just international speaker, makes all this money, doing all this impact, it's so cool. It's like, yeah, but you don't realize all the stuff I had to release. The drugs, the alcohol, the fornication, you know, send the bad habits. Like I had to release a lot of things to receive these blessings. Then I even broke down my job and how I had a great job. Me and my wife, both two high powered, great paying jobs that we had to release to quit to go full time being a speaker. So I really like broke down my whole story to really paint a picture for them traveling across the country on the grace tour, going to schools and group homes and homeless shelters, baptizing people in parks like Man, it's been so much ministry work that I've done over the past 13 years before I got to this place where we had this international speakers conference. And I had to let them know that I had to release in order to receive. And at one moment in my opening message, I had this guy named Logan stand. Logan's a member of our Speakers Academy, great guy. But I had Logan stand up and I was like, yo, I'm gonna be baptizing Logan tomorrow. Now, Logan, saw me do a baptism in Mexico. He, he saw me do a baptism with my man Brad. Shout out to Brad, B-Rad Butler. He's in our Speakers Elite program. B-Rad asked me to baptize him in Mexico. So Logan saw that. Logan said, bro, when I come in town for the conference, can you baptize me? I said, absolutely. So at the conference, I just told the people like, yo, some of y'all are really trying to release to receive. Y'all see B-Rad? I baptized him. Y'all saw Logan. I'm baptizing him tomorrow. If anybody wants to join us just to show support, cool. Man, people start standing up one after another in tears. I want to be baptized. People came down front and I knew it then. I was like, man, God is moving. And so I just gave an appeal. I said, if anybody wants to release, to receive, anybody wants to give their life to Christ and follow the same path that I took, join me on stage right now. We're having a baptism tomorrow morning. And look, y'all. Man, it was a mighty move of God. I broke down on stage. I felt the weight of so many people and their struggles and their challenges. I, I carried that with me. I felt that. So when I gave an appeal, people came down. It was a real powerful moment. I remember walking away thinking like, where do we go from here? Like this is the opening message of a three-day conference and the spirit of God has broke out upon this place. I was just thinking like, this is crazy. Like where do we go from here, you know? The next morning, you know, we had the baptism, you know, 30 people gave their lives, their souls to Jesus Christ. I mean, we baptized them on the rooftop of the Marriott Marquis. That has never been done before, but that's just a testament to the power of God. You know, we had man, so many amazing speakers. We had Connie spoke, um, Dr. Darnielle spoke. You know, um, we ha I had two panels. I had an entrepreneur faith panel with all seven and eight figure entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? So I had Markwell up there. I had Coriel up there. 
you know what I'm saying? I had um, Justin Owens up there, my bro. Uh, I had Marcus, him 500 up there, Doc Arnett, you know what I'm saying? Like I had a strong panel, Dr. Darnell again. Then we had a, a, a couples panel, cause you know, marriage is key. In, in our family, in our business, we really value marriage and family. So we had um, me and my wife actually, this was huge for us, right? But me and my wife, Tracy, we actually interviewed two amazing power couples, you know, Marcus, Barney and Turquoise Barney on Instagram, they him and her 500. We, we had a panel interview with them. And then we also did Jason and Halani Lobdell, Mr. and Mrs. Two Weeks Out. So it was a really dope vibe to be able to sit and do the interview with them. And then, you know, David Shan spoke like, I mean, it was so many amazing speakers and so, so much good energy in the room, you know what I'm saying? And for me, I just really wanted to touch the people. And on the final day, I said, man, I know how it feels to go to a conference and want to take a picture with the host. I had to make an announcement at the top. I said, hey, I'm gonna take a picture with every single person that came today. And for about a half an hour, it was a line wrapped around the room where I took picture after picture after picture after picture with every single person that came to the conference that wanted to get a picture with me. And I did that because I know how it is. I know how it feels to be around someone that changed your life and you just wish you could just touch them and have that moment. And so for me, man, I, I, it's an honor to do this work. And it was also really an honor to be able to let them know that I appreciate your investment and let's seal this moment with a picture. At last year's conference in 2021, you know, we had Shannon Austin and my man Wadre Nelson, two people within our community. Shannon Austin is actually our marriage coach. And, you know, they both were diagnosed with cancer. So we had a prayer service last year at last year's conference and we laid hands on them. And man, how cool was it to come back this year and bring both those brothers on stage and they were able to testify how their bodies are cancer free. You gotta live your best life and you better take that money that you're investing in yourself and you better do something with it. It's crazy, man. Now that I think about it, like people were coming to this conference. Some of them thought they was coming to get gang, to get a different perspective, to get some insight on how to get booked to be a paid speaker. But really, man, these people were coming wanting healing. These people were coming because they wanted strength. These people were coming because they needed a little bit more to keep going, you know what I'm saying? And they were tired. And so I realized that because on the day one, the first hour of the session, 30 people decided to get baptized. Like that's not normal. It lets me know that this world is hungry for more. And I felt that burden on me on the final day, which is why I gave the appeal. This is for those of y'all that want to be unstoppable. This is for those of y'all that want to walk with authority. This is for those of y'all that want to walk with boldness. I know how it feels to wake up in the morning and I was like, I was, I was like demons and imps. I couldn't wait to jump on me and depression would be upon me and I'd be so frustrated and nothing was working in my life. I wake up in the morning now like, what's happening, God? I'm strong now. I'm different now. I'm locked in. Like, I'm not even worried about what this going to happen. I'm like, I'm God's son. I'm in alignment with him. He is the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of everything pure and holy. You know, looking at this conference and everything that took place, man, it was, it was amazing. It was a blessing on so many levels. It could not have gone better. It went better than I expected or even imagined. But that's just a testament to the power of God and further proof of why it's important that we do the work that we do.